Hello everyone, welcome back to my European Space Agency RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We have functionally completed the crewed lunar exploration program, but we still have some funding to take advantage of if we want to. And we don't have any other crewed program. Mars surface exploration is basically with probes. It's supposed to be send probes to Mars. Venus definitely probes. Uh, Mercury definitely probes. And uh, asteroid exploration probes. And it says asteroid, but it means Ceres and Vesta, which is, they're, they're not asteroids. But so, yeah, you get the picture. There's all probe stuff. But if we take a look at our mission control building, I've already gone through this before, but I'm now going to unlock the things. We do have a space plane development contract pack and also an Earth Space Station contract pack. Now, taking a look at the programs associated with these, the crude space plane development is disabled, but it doesn't say anything about why it's disabled. For the space station, however, it says work in progress and very buggy. Um, well, I've waited for a while for them to debugify it, and maybe I'll just have to deal with it. Um, their objective pretty text is do this and that. Obviously, there are issues with this, but I don't want to fire all of our carbonats, right? I mean, without this, we, we have nothing. Uh, so I think we need to allow for these things to happen just to proceed. So I am going to get rid of is disabled here. Uh, that line is not required. And then also here, this is another way of disabling them. We're just going to just do that and we'll see how it works out. I don't know. Maybe this won't work at all. But I have updated all the mods as far as I could and we're going to restart with the programs now enabled and see what we can do. Okay, so now we have crude space plane development and Earth Space Station. And well, the question is, which one do we pick up? because we're still doing two Jupiter probe missions, they're on their way, and they will get us extra confidence, and potentially we'll get more than 5,000, which is important because Earth Space Station fast requires 5,000. So we would have enough to go fast with that once those arrive. So maybe we'll hold off on this. This takes four slots, this takes three slots, but we only have one slot free, so one way or another we're going to have to finish something. The only problem is this one, even at fast, which would take 2,500, uh, does not make up for the money that we're going to not get from this. So that's a little bit tough. And then, of course, if we go fast, then we don't have enough to go fast with this one. And 10 years is a long time. We're talking, I mean, I don't know how long it's got to take to make a space station or whether it's going to work out at all. At all. But I think 10 years is enough. Uh, we, we have a launcher, so the launcher should be able to take care of it. So it's a tough question, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, this one will give us the funding to make up for it, but we'll be going normal here. We could go normal here, but that's going to take forever. Taking a look at the actual Jupiter things, we've got 3,000 right now. This one gives us 1,440, this one 1,280, so it's just 5,600, it's not like, or a little bit more than that, it's not like we have a lot extra. So, yes, it is a tough call. And our space plane is not exactly safe. None of these give any confidence as far as I can tell. None of them. But maybe, maybe when we unlock the program it'll tell us? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll try it. We're going to complete this. We're going to start crude space plane development. Okay, crude space plane development. Here we go. I've been wanting to do it anyway. And at least it didn't actually say it was work in progress and buggy, right? First orbital space plane flight. But this one gives us the very important confidence points. So we need one crew member. I'm gonna take it. It looks like we can repeat this one. Okay, but we need to train crew. 
Okay, Graham Brooks is free. Well, you're the lucky fellow, Graham. Maya spacecraft crew cabin is available. Uh, we're gonna skip this Jupiter window until we find out what happens to those. I don't... I think they'll be alright. We'll just see. Should we cancel Apollo train? I think we should cancel this Apollo training. And we'll have those do proficiency as well. Okay, some training has been completed. Some more will be completed. Okay. Well, let's start building a vessel. Okay, so we'll go with the Maya B version. I don't know how good it's going to be. Uh, we do have the little gap between the body flaps. And I suspected that that might be a problem. We were worried about the heating on these. So I'm going to upgrade these to the better version. Maybe I should just have these overlap. I mean, then there's no gap, right? Well, we're back to using this kind of rocket. The Dedimp A4. A real throwback. But it's only ELA-5. We've only got one bigger pad than this anyway. So, okay, we're going to try and build it. It's been a while since I've flown it. So I don't know... I don't remember how, how it works at all. So, we're going to see about that. Okay. Oh, uh, we didn't unlock the solar panel? I would have thought we did, but... Okay, that makes me worried, because I thought we had tested this one. Okay. Well, we have to focus on the Jupiter Atmo mission. Hopefully it'll work, otherwise we're not getting those confidence points. Okay, it's actually already in Jupiter SOI. Okay, visiting it. It seems to have comms. It certainly has power. It's got the RTGs and everything. I believe we were planning to loosely capture first, and then dip into the atmosphere. Might as well get a little bit closer than 30,000 kilometers though. Okay, so then we'll have a maneuver node to capture at Periapsis. Looking at it, we might as well finish up this stage, right? That's 773, otherwise we won't be exposing the heat shield. So, our capture burn will be just that much. Alright, but we'll go back to the Space Center to time warp through to 75 days until we get there. Oh no, the training is February 10th. I thought it was April. Well, it looks like our space plane is ready before the dual mission gets to Periapsis. Okay, what are the contract stipulations? We're just doing a suborbital plane flight. But uh, we're going to get to orbit anyway. But we do need one crew member on board. And it's going to be dicey, isn't it? Well, we're definitely not putting two. I think we initially said Graham and we're going to send Graham. With a shoot and EVA pack, we don't need. Shoot, yes. This is probably a bad idea, especially since I haven't reviewed how the Maya worked before and they've probably made some changes. But we'll see. Alright, well, we don't have any particular window to worry about. Throttle up, SAS on, ignition. And launch. Oh, Graham's already happier. We haven't even gotten to the speed of sound yet. We are now past the speed of sound. Well, looking good as we pass 30 kilometers. Not sure whether we have the G-Force mitigation set up on here. We do. Okay. Oh, but if it turned off all but one on the center, that's probably pushing it. Probably we wanted to just turn off two on the, on the center. Okay, booster set. Yeah, that's pushing it. <laughs> uh, these have a uh, fair burn time, but not that long. We'll see how it goes. This may end up being suborbital after all. It's doing pretty well though. 
considering how far above its burn time it's gone. Yep, it went more than six minutes. And doing the full burn. Okay, but now our space plane. Oh, we can make orbit. What's the science in here like? Well, visual acuity. Oh, we probably need two people for those. That's fine. Engines are a bit imbalanced here. We could probably just shift them up and they'll do the trick. Okay. And we'll round that out a little bit, but that's pretty much directly into the one and a half hour orbit we normally go for. And taking a look, the fuel is distributed the way we expect it to be. And if we check out the location of the center of mass, which is of course critically important. Um, it's a little bit behind. The docking port is where we want it to be, right? So it's a little bit behind right now. But we can easily move this fuel forward in order to adjust that. But we might as well wait until we do the deorbit burn. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, well, I don't know why it's checkmarked land horizontally with a descent angle below 10 degrees, but I don't know how it actually determines that. Brief burn with these. Oh, that's actually too much. I think we'll try to do the retro burn here. It might be a little bit too far along, and we haven't spent too much time in orbit. We could have spent a whole day. That'll help us. That would help us line up with the space center a little bit better. But this isn't too bad either. Okay. Previously, I had done negative thirty kilometers. I'll try negative twenty-five, maybe. Pretty satisfied where the center of mass is. We'll obviously move it depending on how things go. Going to lock the gimbal on the RZ20s, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's hope for the best for Graham here. From here on, we don't care where that little dot is. We'll be actually seeing the dynamics in action. Okay, here we go. 28 kilometers it ended up being. So we have some fuel to shift around here. On the previous test I don't think we did. We ran out of the hydrolocks. Okay. It's pitching up a bit. So I'll move some of the fuel back. We could even move it to the tail tank here if necessary. So we ended up a bit nose heavy. We can also shift the fuel in the nose here. Uh oh. One well, of the engines is starting to overheat. Uh, perpetual problem here. Let's see if we can find an angle to prevent that. I don't know. Up, 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 up. Oh, now the. Okay, now it's not overheating, but the cabin is overheating more. Survival is most important. I, oh, 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 okay. Um, we won't go that angle. Oh, 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 uh, 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 is it being serious or not? <laughs> that engine, is it being serious or not? I don't know. There's a little bit high on the speed compared to our height. And that's because we are not at 40 degrees. It's not a matter of balance. We can be at 40 degrees for that by pitch down to save the engine, but maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> but we're going to start going up soon now. So that might help. Location-wise, we are still off South America. Well, back above 70 kilometers, cabin's cooling off. 
Nope, now cabin is heating up again when I came out of fizz warp. Can I pitch up more or will the engine complain? It might very suddenly start to blow. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 20 degrees, fine. Wings are still sort of unhappy. Okay, we're going back down now. The wing issues appear to have cleared. We're approaching South America here. Communicating through Quito. How do you feel about that? <laughs> How does the engine feel about that? I'll keep it to 24 for now. I just want everything back in one piece. Well, we're at 28 degrees now without the engine complaining. Cockpit and two wings are complaining though. This slow heat accumulation on the cabin is not great though. Oh, well, we got a crew report from him flying high over mountains. It keeps getting hotter. It's just not dissipating heat very well. It keeps getting hotter and we're slowing down and everything. It keeps getting hotter. We might even be able to get back home. Uh, it's really hot right now. Can you use the brakes at all? Oh, they gotta blow up. The heat accumulation is just not good. <laughs> Uh, and my pitch up, it seems worse, so okay. I don't know which is worse, to be honest. This is not good. Ah, uh, I don't, I don't get the overheating on it. I just don't. It, it just kept accumulating. The wings were fine. Everything else was fine except for the crew cabin. Oh man. Well, it was uh, it was risky. It was risky. We're we're probably gonna have to fix the engine somehow and make sure we're pitching up more, so the forward cabin doesn't spend so much time in the heat. Well, so much for Graham. Well, let's take a look at our Jewel, our Jupiter atmospheric probe, the Jewel 3, and make sure it doesn't meet uh, fiery demise, hopefully, maybe. We gotta do the burn a bit ahead of periapsis in order to ensure comms, but it looks like we can ensure comms anyway, so. There is Jupiter. And here we go. We have captured. Well, we'll just keep doing what we can here. I didn't think we had that much left. Well. Oh, okay. Alright. So, we have captured into this sort of orbit. And separation. Ooh, that was forceful. Okay, well, we're gonna try and dip into the atmosphere. Got an 18 day orbit. We'll just do it right now. Um, maybe I should get another space plane being built, but we need to think about that. So they want below 800 kilometers. We're not going to do too much below 800 kilometers, but we'll try that. I'm going to try 750. And then if that's not good enough, we'll do a second pass. All right. 
I mean, assuming it doesn't actually drag us all the way down. It's just at 750 already. Okay, here we go. We are in Jupiter's atmosphere. Many things are running. It's going to take five minutes to do the telemetry analysis. Oh, weird visual bug. Weird visual bug. Um, in all directions. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, the telemetry analysis changed. It's complicated. Okay, we're below 800 kilometers. Making sure we're still recording everything here. We're going up now. Telemetry analysis is the thing. It's the best bet here. Oh, it's a new telemetry analysis now, though. Gosh darn it. We keep getting into new surface biomes. We've used quite a lot of a blade or two. We're just barely not going to be able to complete that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing we didn't, yeah, we definitely didn't finish that. Let's, we'll just have to go through it again. Right now our orbit is a 13 day, 19 hour orbit. Okay, hopefully the telemetry analysis will count, or maybe the next one will. Okay, it did. So Jupiter Atmospheric Probe is a success. We do want the other signs though. I'm not going to send another probe into Jupiter's atmosphere necessarily. Now that we know it's not, you know, detrimental or anything, maybe it's a good way to capture, but still I feel like I would rather not carry the heat shield and capture just normally. Considering the ablation, we probably do need the heat shield. All right, well, it's in space again. We're going to have it pass through one more time to get more science, but then after that, I'll stabilize its orbit so it's not in the atmosphere anymore. I don't know if it'll survive this time because we don't have a whole lot of ablator left, but we're also going slower, so maybe. Mainly it's the pressure and temperature scan that we're trying to get now. Oh, ah, uh, we lost it. It exploded. That was quick, too. All right. Well, anyway, we fulfilled the mission and we got this, got as much science as we were going to get. So, all right. Well, all of our missions today ended up blowing up due to overheating, but one was successful and the other was not. So there we are. We still have the Jewel Orbiter mission, the Jupiter Orbiter mission, the Jewel 4, uh, and that's still on arrival. But we'll have to figure out what to do about our space plane. It might be just that, and the next one I'll test without crew, I think, even though we have some crew prepared. I think I'll dump the suborbital contract too. We're definitely not going to just do that. But yeah, maybe it was the bomb engine that was overheating, and we needed to shift them up anyway. So I'm going to shift it up just a little bit. We tried overlapping the body flaps. Oh, but oh, I, I might not have saved that version, though. Now the controller is sort of clipping through the top of this. Well, anyway, we'll test it out with our crew next time. It was too ambitious this time to do it with crew. And we will see how it goes, but I will save this and build another one. So after the Jupiter Orbiter probe, we will be proceeding with trying to build our space station, however work in progress and buggy those contracts may be. And we've got a ton of science. Uh, we've already got some stuff in the works. Yeah, 
And I guess maybe it's time to get all the nuclear stuff. I don't know what we're going to do with it, especially without more crew contracts. We hardly need it for probes. But like I said, if I got enough science, I'll just plunge ahead here. And we're gonna get at least to there. I'll save the other thousand science. Uh, let's get the better Hydrolox engines. We want it eventually. the LE5 in particular, so let's just get that. Alright, so now we're unlocking the LE5 and nuclear engines for some reason. And we might be able to do some of this stuff, but do we need to? I don't know. We will see. Space shuttle stuff though. We could get a full, full space shuttle. Let's just do that. There's nothing in improved space planes or advanced space planes or high-tech space planes. Early space stations? Probably ought to cue that. But there are hardly any parts with what I have, which was the bare bones RP-1 install, mind you. Alright, so we certainly have enough signs for what we intend to do. That's a lot of stuff. We can probably move everything ahead of the nuclear stuff, and I think the space shuttle and the space stations will have priority. Okay, so that is the situation. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.